This is a continuation of the video I started for um, talking about solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So we're just going to get straight to solving and we're going to find our values of A, B, and C. All right, so are we in the correct form? AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. In the last video, I had mentioned that we could have negative values for A, B, and or C. Um, up to this point, we've only had problems where A is one, but in this case, we have an A value of five. Notice our B value is now gonna be negative four, and our C value is negative nine. So our quadratic formula, I hope you've been practicing this, is negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and when we substitute our values in we should substitute them in using parentheses. So b is a negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 5 and c is negative 9 all over 2 times a and a is 5 again Okay, so now we need to evaluate it. And we know that a double negative gives us a positive. Negative, negative 4 is a positive 4. And that is why it's really important to use um, parentheses when you substitute these numbers in, or else you will forget the double negative. Negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. And I know that 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times negative 9 is negative 180. So I, again, have another double negative here, which turns this into a positive. All over 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify that. 4 plus, what's 16 plus 180? That's 196 all over 10. And I know just from the work we did at the beginning of the school year that 196 is a perfect square. It is 14 times 14. And I don't need to go any further than this because I have a group of two numbers that are exactly the same. So that when I reduce that, I get four plus or minus 14 over 10. And I know I can add and subtract 14 from four, so I'm going to go ahead and set up two different answers here. 4 plus 14 over 10, and then 4 minus 14 over 10. So 4 plus 14 is 18 over 10, and I know both of these numbers are divisible by 2, so I get 9 over 5 for one answer. And then 4 minus 14 is negative 10 over 10, and I know this is just negative 1. So I have two solutions, negative one and nine fifths. All right, let's move on to our next example. We're gonna start by finding the values of A, B, and C. And are we in the correct form? A, X squared plus B, X. Uh-oh, we're not in the correct form because our equation does not equal zero. So what am I gonna have to do with this four? I am gonna have to move it to the other side. We get three x squared plus 10 x plus four equals zero. Now I'm in the correct form. So our a value here is three, our b value is 10, and our c value is four. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a. And when I substitute my values in parentheses, I get negative parentheses 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 3 times 4 all over 2 times 3. And when I simplify that, I get a negative 10 plus or minus, I know 10 squared is 100, and I know 4 times 4 is 16 times 3 is 48, and then 2 times 3 is 6. 
So what is 100 minus 48? Well, that is 52. And so how do I simplify the square root of 52? Well, I know that 52 is 2 times 26. 26 is 2 times 13, and then 13 is prime. And I have this nice group of two twos here. So when I simplify this, I get negative 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 13 all over 6. And when I take a look at my numbers here, they're all divisible by 2. So I'm going to factor out or divide everything by a 2. So I get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 3. And that's my final answer, my two answers for x. Because negative 5 and radical 13 are not like terms. Okay, my next example, a equals b equals c equals, we're going to find all of our a, b, and c values. We have a x squared, oh no, it should be a plus bx, and a plus c equals 0, but we don't have that, so we need to add 10x to both sides, and we need to add 2 to both sides to get 7x squared plus 10x plus 2 equals 0, because those will reduce out. So now I have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And remember when you substitute in, uh-oh, we forgot to find our a, b, and c values. A is 7, B is 10, and C is 2. We are going to substitute in using parentheses. Okay, I get 10 squared minus 4 times 7 times 2, all over 2 times 7. So when I reduce that, I get a negative 10, plus or minus. 10 squared is 100. And I know if I do 4 times 2, that's 8 times 7 is 56. So we're subtracting 56. 2 times 7 is 14. So what is 100 minus 56? Well, I know that is 44 over 14. Well, how does 44 reduce? Well, I know 44 is 2 times 22. And 22 is 2 times 11. So I have a nice group of two twos here. So I end up with negative 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 11 over 14. And when I check all of my numbers, I notice they're all divisible by 2 again. So I'm going to take a 2 out. So I get a negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 11 all over 7. And those are my answers for x because negative 5 and the square root of 11 are not like terms. I believe this is my last example here. We're going to start off by finding our a, b, and c values. Are we in the right form? a, x squared plus b, x plus c equals 0. Looks like we are in the right form. Our a value is 2, our b value is 8, and our c value is 7. So we know the formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's a mouthful. And when we plug our numbers in, we are going to do that using parentheses. 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times 7, all over 2 times 2. So now we have negative 8 plus or minus. 8 squared is 64. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 2 times 2 is 4. And I know that 64 minus 56 is 8, and 8 factors into 2 times 4, 
and then 4 is 2 times 2. And I have a nice group of 2's right here that I can take out. I get negative 8 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 over 4. And when I look at all of my numbers, they are all divisible by 2. So I'm going to take a 2 out of each one of these. So I get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. And since negative 4 and the square root of 2 are not like terms, they can't be added, I'm done. And that's all I have for this video. These should help you with the last four problems on your worksheet.